Today, we're going to be going over strategy and tactics on how to get more aggressive, how to chase down kills, how to get better with your accuracy and aim, and also just how to simply win games. This game is completely different than the rest of the war zones. It's got similarities, of course, but with the TTK, the metas currently, and of course, the faster zones, the rotations, it's a whole nother ball game on how to play fights. You can't just put yourself out there in 1v4s because you will get decked instantly. If you guys are struggling with Warzone, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe today, and keep up to date with the new tactics and strategies the Warzone has to offer. But without any further ado, let's dive into the video. Guys, thank y'all for joining again. We're gonna be going over different tactics on how to one regain. Let's talk about that first off, right? So my favorite thing to do in this type of situation or any situation, whether you're launching, whether you're regaining, go for bounty near zip nearby. There's a lot of them, right? Buy, zip, bounty. That's exactly where my ass would go. But he decided to get active with it. I'm not completely against it. What the f Too close. I love the fact that he just landed in and got active with it. That was awesome. Was not expecting that from a guy we're spectating, but it happened. Also, guys, make sure you steal your gas masks. You're not wearing them 24 seven. The audio of the breathing can hinder the little audio we can hear in the game. That's just personal preference, honestly. But let's talk about that last fight, the sniper. If you're cracked and then you're hit again, fucking die behind cover. You're on a wall, just sidestep to the left. There's no reason for him to be sitting there trying to get off whatever you're oh. trying to get off. That was Better wild. The butt there, chugger. Are you the guy who killed butt there, chugger? The f you killed him. I know it was you. I know you're a writer somewhere. Sounds like the dude from Star Wars sugar. Episode 1. The Put one that back. had Anakin as a slave. The little blue Put dude with the wings. I know what I'm talking body. about. Where are you? Hey, you show him his boss. Are you blowing up my stuff? Dude, I'm gonna laugh. You can run, but you cannot hide. I think he's trying to turn on his mic. My I'm gonna friend. laugh if this dude kills him as he's trying to get his mic plugged in. Nope. Oh, oh, we hear him, we hear him. We actually hear footsteps. No freaking way, dude. This gotta be a spectating glitch. Oh, 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 oh. No. Oh, yeah. Good ah. <laughs> All right, man, that was funny. There's this scream. That, was, that wasn't bad. No. No. Shoot. Ah. <laughs> no! No way! Ah, yo, Matt got his ass with a molly. Wow. Wow, dude. How do you guys feel about them nerfing the the, the crawling yeah, speed? I, I for one, love it as a sniper because you bitches can't crawl away anymore and get away from me. But when I'm when I'm on the receiving end of it, I hate it. I hate it with passion. I hear Mac is in the gulag. Boy, he's got some personality on him, so I kind of want him to win now. Multiple smokes out. We do have C4, which is fucking useless. I love that they gave that to us. Trying to wait for the zip to come down. Oh my god. I love him. I love this dude. Let's yo. Let's let's hope let's hope Mac wins. So again, go back to regain. We've got a buy, we've got a bounty next to us. This is something I really want you guys to get used to. Chasing down bounties. We get all of our kills by chasing down bounties. Every one of them. Well, not every one of them, but we're always moving and grooving. If you guys find yourself like, I don't know where to go, I don't know what to do, grab a bounty. Having a goal, having yourself prepared for a fight is the best way to take on a fight. I break to the left. Yeah, 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 yeah. Grab that bounty. We got a buy and we got a zip. Again, this is the this is the trifecta. This is the of war zone. This is the best way to play solos, dealers, trailers, and quads. Now, look, I've got a lot of YouTube shorts coming out of me completely shitting on squads. I want you guys to pay attention to the shorts that I'm posting every night at five o'clock central standard, because this will show you guys on how to fight as a squad effectively. There's no reason for me to, or anybody else to be able to one V for you guys. It's weird watching players who are stacked, but not fighting together. It's the weirdest thing. Gummies? Yeah, I'll go get you gummies in a minute when mommy gets home. What kind of gummies? I want some gummies. Also, this is our first spectating video or series of videos to say. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of pause breakdowns to really get in the strategies of gunfight and everything like that. I just wanted to really see how randoms are out here spectating, get an idea of how you guys are playing. Um, like I said, we've kind of developed our little thing and how we're getting wins and how we're getting kills. We've gotten four times. We've had three games in a row for wins. We have yet to get five, unfortunately. Huh. The last three wins we were on, our teammate dev error, the other one's internet went out. So that kind of ruined our last streak. Got a vehicle moving towards us right now. It's not the bounty. 
bust out. I'll be surprised if he lands on this guy. It's kind of a... I'm all for fighting beat people in vehicles. We have the armored vehicle, not so much. We have the dot right under us. So he's gonna pass it up, unfortunately. Oh my God. Good beams. I don't know what happened to your boy. That was literally right under us. And look, vehicles are still a decent strat to get on the map, but I think zip lines are just your best bet. Enemies are always gonna be there. It's just a lot of places to get the fuck. So he might hit that. Recon flyover. Got an enemy on us. Now look what is it look what's in his inventory. Look at that little portable radar. You guys have got You guys have gotta use the portable radars. He had a UAV, so he didn't have to, but I witness enemies that I'm killing, they'll loot buildings and they'll just leave that behind. That portable radar is has always been good, but it's way more crucial now that players aren't rocking ghosts as much. For people who come back from Gulag, just people don't have ghosts, and there, there's a lot of them. A lot of them. Seems like in this game, compared to other war zones, most players are usually in a regain situation. But we have 21 grand. We got a bag in front of us as well. We got a. Where's this buy at? This buy is too far out of the zone. We could go to this one, but we have a zip coming towards us. Let's hope it stops near us and we can take that bitch and get out of here. Or it's just going to fly off into oblivion. Hell yeah. That, there we go. All right. When you look at this map, there's a lot of things you can do. But let's just wait for the circle to really close in before we really start posting up for you passive players out there. A lot of times when we're killing teams, they'll be posted on the wrong building. And so when the circle rotates, they have to jump off. They're easy targets. We'll just beam the shit out of them as they're flying. With fast TTK, you guys need to plan an escape route instantly if you're sitting on the top of a rooftop or something like that. So if the circle dictates, you don't have to just jump to your death. A lot of players are getting clapped that are just jumping off a building with no idea what the hell's going on. Get up about the floor and me lose control. Come on, Matt, 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 hey, Matt, I'm gonna get copyrighted, homie, stop. Come on, man. Ad rev. Let's go. All right, he's rocking high alert because he started reacting and freaking out before he even got shot at, which is a great perk. I love high alert. You have to have it. Also, LMGs with that recent buff, the ADS speed on these things is actually amazing. It's a really wide open meta right now. I hope even when they nerf a lot of these guns, I hope they, I hope they nerf them across the board to balance TTK, but I hope that the meta still stays as big of a variety as it is right now. All right, good. We're gonna mute him. Good job coming to the rooftop trying to play it. Better job on the enemy actually seeing, seeing the, uh, the PDS and then just making a dip out of there. I, again, I talked about a lot in the next match, taking zips in order to find enemies. It's just a, Those little drones are assholes. Gas is inbound. A new safe zone. That's unfortunate. All right, this enemy could be rotating the water. It could be rotating to the left. We're not really sure. The biggest concern I have is not really this enemy. It's just getting third partied. He has high alert, so it's a nice crutch to have. Uh, he's not right there, bro. No, what, bro? He's right. You see him? Okay, he doesn't. He doesn't see him at all. Y'all saw him, right? I hope. The enemy is definitely escape artist. We're, we're dealing with the Houdini, Houdini here. I just have a strong feeling he's gonna get third party. He's playing out in the open a lot. He's playing really aggressive for one kill. I love, I love the aggressive nature of it. But when that dude dipped in the vehicle, I would have taken the zip and just gone somewhere else. Damn, that sucks. The guy he's been chasing this whole time he died too. Another enemy down the hall. Doesn't you see him? All right, moving on to the Lord, A, the Lordy.
And look, I'm not one for heartbeats, but if you got one, whip that bitch out and find out where he is. Give you some peace of mind. Don't hold it out and walk around of it. This is, but whip it out, find out where he is, and then hawk his ass down. I know we're fighting this guy, but we really need to start thinking about rotation because even if we win, win this fight, people will be holding us. There's not much here. We need to start thinking about how we're going to get more centralized for the next zones. All right, so the next zone is identified. We can just move up there if we want, but I think there's going to be a lot of people around this area. So I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't say play the edge, but I wouldn't mind playing a little bit slow and getting some eyes on what's going around us instead of looting. I want to look around. I want to see what's around us. He does have money for a buy, but that buy is going to be out in yeah, all right now. So continuing to loot is basically not necessary. Take the, these moments, especially in game. We all are just focused on loot when you already have everything you need to scan. You can catch so many enemies on the rotate, just like the last guy we were spectating how he died on the rotate. Enemy just caught him out. It's amazing what you guys can see if you're not so busy looting. Of course, if you need shit, by all means loot. But some of you guys feel like you need a lot more than you actually do. So where do you go? Well, this is going to be a bad spot. You don't want to be down here at all or in this building. So I wouldn't even rotate this way like he looks like he was doing. I don't want to work more towards where there's cover. Even though there's ridges and there's high ground, there's still walls you can play. There's still many buildings. This is the area I would go and then work my way in maybe towards the zip, maybe get the rooftop. But as we get in, the next circle will identify. I mean, kind of figure out where to go from there. Regardless, though, I don't like our position right now. The longer we stay still, the harder the fight becomes. Because as we get in an engagement with this guy, there's a chance another enemy to our right is sitting there as well. So when we go to rotate once again, he's going to get caught out. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. Again, the zip line to the rooftop would have been great. Good shots. I want to see him throw knife the driver. Exactly like that, dude. The enemy just played the wall. He played slow and he got caught out in the rotation. That's my fear for your boy, Av Avadachi. Avadachi. Gas mask, definitely. Yeah. All right, so again, the rooftop would be a great spot right now because it has so much leverage on everything around them. These guys will kill each other out, so all they, the rooftop has to do is catch people in the rotation. Granted, they have to jump off the roof eventually, and I assume, I bet money there's a guy up there. Oh, f Lo and behold, there he is. I don't know if he's going to survive this. He's got the riot shooter and the sniper on him. Normally, this would be an easy play. Just catch the guy on the rooftop as he jumps off, but he's really got to be concerned with that riot shielder. Got four remaining. Stay sharp. <laughs> you see the riot shield by the truck. He doesn't see him at all. He has no idea. Oh, now he sees him. Gas is inbound. Good job jumping to the top. I don't know how the enemy is not getting hit by that. Good job tracking. Oh my God. Good job tracking the tracers coming in and getting the nice cleanup on that kill right there. Holy shit. Pop the plate. 1v1 situation. You see the enemy on the mini map right now. All we got to do is rotate to the right. Play the, play the terrain. Holy 
shit. He's in a rough spot. The enemy's got us held right now, but there is a, there is that little shack you can play the right. He's got to get some shots on the enemy, though, and make the enemy unpeak. If we can crack the enemy and force his ass to start plating, we can play this a little bit better. Oh, shit. Good job going to the rooftop. And unfortunately, you didn't see him rotate to the right. He might be able to pop himself, though. Nope. That's yeah, all she wrote. Honestly, it's a great play going back to the roof. If he would have instantly saw the guy on the right and reacted to it, he'd have been fine. He looked to the left instead, and it got him killed. Again, that CTK being so fast, that little reaction time difference is what costed him the entire game. And that's why, again, I really hope they fix CTK, not just for GOATs, but especially for lower skill players, because really, a lot of you guys just don't stand a chance with slower reaction times. All right, like we do every Gulag, um, well, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and just die. Winnie the Pooh. I'm gonna let them get him. Maybe dance with them a little bit, you know what I mean? Or we won't. Guys, sorry for the delay. I really wanted to learn this game uh, through and through. You know, the first day we got absolutely just completely crapped on. The momentum, the way you play this game, everything is different. Um, and I wanted to go ahead and learn this to the best of my ability before I started putting out these videos. And now we're up to 20 wins so far and, and we're grinding. So now that we're moving and grooving, here I am, I'm back. But we're gonna start off with a uh, smoke you. Now, let's talk about momentum and what you wanna do. This game can benefit aggressive players, but it can also benefit passive players. There's really no reason for you guys to get super aggro unless you guys are struggling with aim and accuracy. In that case, I highly recommend always landing, and thank God we can pull the map back up, landing somewhere near a zip with a bounty nearby and a buy station. I love to land bounties, hunt the bounty down. That'll instantly give you your loadout money before the loadout's even in, and you can instantly get momentum, take the zip, and go get another bounty and hunt. Also, counter UAVs, I'm glad that popped up. If you guys see a counter, that's them ratting themselves out. Go find them and hunt them down. Again, if you guys are trying to get more proficient on the controller or the mouse and keyboard, make sure you guys are actively fighting fights. I know everybody wants to win, but I'm telling you right now, the first month of this game, just practice your gunshots. Get out there, get aggressive, get it done. That way, for the rest of the year, or the rest of the two years, however long we have this game, you guys will already be able to have the movement, the accuracy and aim, the tracking, and y'all can get wins like it's nothing. Moving here. All right, we've got Smokey, he spot an enemy. He has his gas mask on too. I don't like the new gas mask mechanic. You gotta like stow it. It's in. It's it's a weird situation. It takes up an inventory spot. It is what it is, but it's definitely weird. It takes some getting used to. I for one can't play with this a little bit of animation. That doesn't seem like much, but the breathing's distracting. The 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 outline of the gas mask is distracting. It just fucks me up. But. Let's go ahead and talk about this fight. You see an enemy over here. The first instinct I want to do is get the high ground. I want to see where he went. We don't know where he went. He could be in the building. He could be on top of the building. He could be behind the building. We don't know. So I would have already been on the rooftop trying to get elevation so I can look around and scan. And then if I don't see him, again, deductive reasoning. Which way was he going? That's what we have to look at. So he flew in this way. So clearly he's either back here or he ran to the big ass buildings which is exactly where i think he went because if you're coming back from the gulag you're broke you have no guns you have no money so your best thing to do is loot a massive compound regaining this game in the beginning is not difficult mid game though it's it's a bitch bro it's a bitch you got everybody running the uh dual pistols right now you got smgs ars dmrs you got so many guns that a one tap you two tap you three tap you ttk in this game is crazy crazy so when we get in fights, man, um, we're going to really be talking about how to play this. Cover and concealment is more important now than ever. Also, when you guys get a knock, don't get distracted, especially if you're playing duos, trios, and quads. Don't just run out there and execute. Play it. Look around. Observe everything around you. Otherwise, you're going to get shot in the back of the side. This game is third-party central. Faster zones, 20% smaller map. Even though it's 100 players, it plays really aggressive mid and in-game. Again, I'm not really going to troll in the beginning because everyone's learning once this game's out about a month we'll start going in on people but just from the standpoint of look at the mini map look at the mini map yeah 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 yep yeah, yeah. mini map is important now than ever too because when people use ground loot weapons most of the time they're not suppressed even people's loadout builds not suppressed more people are running ghosts than they were in warzone 2 in my my opinion oh shit 
Right, good job taking cover, utilizing the hit indicator to figure out where the enemy's at. That's ignorant. Now, I've died a few times taking these damn zip lines, honestly. Like, especially the vertical ones. I look down and pick up a weapon, and then I'll, like, go to hit... Well, I guess for you guys, like, square, whatever button it is. I go to hit F to loot the weapon. I take the zip, and it slings me to my death. I don't know if it's happened to you guys or not, but it's definitely a, a pain in the ass. But look, we're in a very passive stance. We had a fight going on. We could have third party. The guys were under the bridge. We sat there, and we got shot, and we got third party by another target. We know where he's at. He's on the rooftop. We can go and push these fights. There's really no reason to sit here and hide because here's the worst case scenario. The enemy comes and pushes you. That's what you don't want. You don't want to sit here in a cubicle waiting for an enemy to come to you because if he comes to you, that means he's more aggressive, more confident, and he's probably going to shit down your face. On top of that, on the flip side, best case scenario, this, nothing happens. We don't get practice. We don't get any kind of momentum. We don't get money. And we just stay stuck in this looting simulator. There's really no reason to loot in these games. The beginning for sure, but you, sh you have your loadout really quick. We're only five minutes in the game. We already have it. Also, don't ever challenge snipers. If you really think he's up there, which he is, if you ever think he's up there, don't just sit here and look out a window and be like, where are you? Because you'll get domed. One tap cat. Make sure you guys stay, make sure you guys stay safe out there. I'll have my cat build posted as a uh, YouTube short here in the next, I think tomorrow, maybe, maybe Wednesday. It's scheduled for so make sure you guys build that bitch it's a, it's a bad motherfucker dude again you don't have to be the most aggressive player in the world to be good at the game but this is not a way to play passive we're on no high ground we don't even really have a good high ground weapon this is not a bad weapon it's definitely meta no doubt about it but this is more for your aggressive play style if you're sitting still all right i said i wasn't gonna troll but i don't know if i have it in me and again when you get in this position you're like i don't know what to do where do i go I mean, the map's still relatively big, and again, go for bounties. There's no reason not to. You can either kill the bounty or at least know where an enemy's at and avoid him. I don't recommend that at all, but it's still something to do. It's still somewhere to go. You don't want to catch yourself in this map or any maps just kind of like aimlessly wandering and looting because when you're not making a plan of action, then you're not making a plan mid-combat. If you can't plan your next move in peace, what's going to happen when an enemy comes to you? You're going to panic. All right, this is already looted, so enemies are clearly here as well. It's really no surprise. We haven't done shit. Only 37 enemies left, and this is what I hate. This is what I try to get most people out of this mindset of playing scared and passive because you're going to be wasting 10, 20 minutes of your life getting one, maybe two kills just to die at the end. And I know there are players out there that I know people have the potential to win with zero kill wins and things like that, but that's not, that's not what these videos are for. They're not for those types of people. These videos to help you guys get a little bit more aggressive and get out there. So look at the zone. This is center zone. This is somewhere you might want to post up if you're playing, you know, high ground, sniper rifle, something long range. BSB isn't the best long range, but it's still not bad. So when I get to a rooftop, this guy has not been on the high ground at all this entire video. And in a mode where everything two or three bursts and you have one shot snipers, high ground's kind of where you want to be at. And just to clarify, when I said that this wasn't a long range gun, I meant for the skyscrapers. You ain't going to be, be able to do much with it. Also, let's talk about zip lines. Take the zips. You take the zip, fly around, look for enemies, see if you find movement. If you don't, go back to that exact same zip and do it again and go somewhere else. It's a great way to scan for enemies. We've now spotted one, two, and then finally a third enemy that we're probably not going to do much with. And this is not a good fight anyway. If he knocks and cracks this guy, He's just going to probably self-res or dive to cover. There's the chance of getting a, a kill on that enemy is very low. So all we're doing right now is pissing this guy off, allowing him to know our presence. And also on top of that, what about the other aggressive players in the lobby? What about other players in general? One tap snipers. We're exposed 365 degrees. I rock high alert, so I wouldn't feel too threatened in this position. Uh, is he rocking high alert? I can't tell. It won't tell me. If he's not rocking high alert, he's going to get domed. This is our first time spectating in Warzone 3, by the way. Or Warzone. What are we calling it now? I don't even know. You have big game bounty next to you as well. We can go do. Again, I'm not trying to teach you guys to, out here to, to drop 30 and 40 kills. I just want you guys to build confidence to enjoy these games. Battle Royals are extremely stressful. Better luck next time. Well, it was the guy we pissed off. Fortunately for your dude, Smokey, he didn't hit, hit all of his shots. 
So Smokey was able to outplay him. So good, good fight, I guess. But that was the enemy that he originally started shooting at. At least it was the same skin, so I'm assuming. Again, in order to build confidence in this game, you have got to put yourself in uncomfortable situations and become more comfortable with them. That's really all it is. My first day, two days of playing this game, if y'all watch my live streams and they're up on the channel, check them out. I'm, I was a bot. I was shit, dude. My first game, I dropped 11 kills. My second game, I dropped 10. And then for six hours straight, I dropped four kills. I'm not saying that to make excuses. I'm saying that as if like, I got shit on. And the only reason now that I'm dropping wins and double digit kills consistently is because again, I took those games and I was just full setting everything, getting in fights, trying to learn the movement, trying to learn the TTK, trying to figure out what the metas were, trying to see how pl people played. You're not gonna be able to outplay enemy and predict their movement if you never fight in these situations. Multiple enemies dropping next to us now. This is not, we're in a decent position, but I'm not feeling too comfortable with Smokey. He's got a really good gun. But if he runs into an enemy, that's a little bit better. Oh no, too low. He's gonna get destroyed. And I don't want that fear, boy. I love how the enemy is utilizing the ledge to change his position. This is something we talk about a lot. And if he wraps more to the left, we're f He's assuming he's right there, but he could be prone crawling to the left. All right, all right, all right. Good beam, good beam. Also, let's talk about the metas real quick. Game's really unbalanced. So again, take this time to not stress about it, not worry about kills and shit like that. Just get aggressive, go after fights. I'm hoping by the time the season one reloaded comes out, this game's a lot more balanced. This burst gun reminds me of the ABR from Blackout, the M16 from the uh, Verdance days. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's just hella broken. The, the dual Kimbo pistols, hella broken. There's so many guns right now that are just crazy. TTK is actually faster in this game than it was in Warzone 2, which is mind boggling. This is a very good game. I think it's light years better than Warzone 2 ever was, but they really need to fix TTK. I feel like the fast TTK more or less benefits players on the kill side more than it does on a defensive side. Cause I mean, look at this guy, he's able to two burst, but what happens if the enemy catches him in the back? He's not gonna have time to react. And that's a big problem with this battle royale. I think Apex's TTK is way too long for this type of game, but we definitely need a little bit more Warzone 1 TTK to really kind of give everyone a fighting chance. And there's a lot of lower skilled players that love the fast TTK. At least they think they do, but I'm telling you right now, man, when you guys get in fights and you're able to survive getting two or three taps, you'll actually be able to survive the fight longer, fight longer, and you'll get better in that fight. For players out there to just run and die, run and die, run and die. So not much happening. We got a lot of dots on the mini map. He should position himself in a different area. I know he doesn't want to give up this higher spot than the rest of the rooftop, but I think he should. He should take advantage of the mini map pings. Again, a great way to practice your aim, great way to rack up kills. There's just really no reason to be here. I think we're a little late to this fight now. You might be able to catch him out in the open, but there's a good chance he pushed our building already or he's already dead. When you guys see that mini map and keep your eyes peeled to it at all times, when you guys see that mini map ping, you have to chase it down if it's nearby. Shit, I'd chase it down even if it wasn't nearby. All right, so one enemy's already in our building fighting another enemy. Enemy to the left-hand side, coming down the hill. You saw him slightly. He was working his way down right here. So again, another enemy closing the gap that we should be able to take advantage of. This is a player right here that's just two tunnel vision on the center of his screen. You have to relax the eyes. You want to focus and fight, but relax your eyes when you're scanning so you can catch things like that. Player movement's very crucial. There's another one right there. He caught that guy below him, right below your gun, right below your gun, right below your gun. There you are. All right, he's able to get him. All right, now, if the enemy in the water right here is smart, and that's not him, but if he would wrap to the far right, that'd be a way better rotation than wrapping up right here. Good? Nah, I was going to say good nade. Bad nade. It was a good idea to nade. He should just hit his shots. Gas is in. So when an enemy's hiding behind cover like that, again, throw a nade at the cover, force them out, and then shoot him in the face.
All right, now we're in a unique situation. We need to rotate. There's good cover, but I guarantee you there's already teams at these two buildings. So we need to start pushing in this way. We could rotate lower, but because of the low ground, we are vulnerable from all of this stuff. And I don't really like that push. I said if the enemy jumped off the bridge and he rotated right, it'd be better for him because it's more of a death trap if you're up to us. But now that we're in this position, I don't, I don't like this. I'd want to go play the buildings, play hard cover, play walls, play rooftops. No one seems to be on the bridge, which is not really that shocking seeing I have buildings that have a perfect angle on it. But now he is safe for now. Still continuing his push over to the other side. He needs to get out of this area because he's very vulnerable from the entire map. Smoke grenades are great, but we need to bail out of this spot because anyone nearby that saw that smoke is going to be looking right towards this direction. Remember, smokes are not something to be meant to be uh, hiding in. These are nerfed. Yeah, These smokes dissipate man, way faster than they did in Warzone 2. So when you launch a smoke, if you need to get a res, get it fast and dip. If you're smoking the loot, get it out, get it all loot and dip. If you're getting shot at, smoke and dip. Leave. Alright, it's gonna be an interesting little spot now. You're gonna have a lot of people camped up in here. Again, the rooftop's oh, still safe. Can. That's a really good spot. And again, this is another reason why I wanted to rotate towards the cluster of buildings. Not just to mention the building, but you have a lot of the vehicles. You have the bottom yeah, of the building you can moving. do. You have these walls right here you can play. There's a lot more over there than there is here. All of these little shops that we're looking at, this is all. You, this is not cover. This is concealment. You can get shot through it. Alright, I'm shocked. Again, TTK is so fast. Enemy, I actually almost outshot him somehow. And there we go. The enemy would be crazy to push this. He should just hold it and wait for us to push out. Because we have to push out. The wide rotate is kind of questionable. It may work out. I do like the fact that he's trying to change his position, but I don't know if he's going to survive this. Oh, he does. He does. He survived. He wins yeah, these. Alright, so it was, a, it was a good play. Good play getting out. I wouldn't have done it, but it was a definitely a, a decent play to survive that. I know we know there's an enemy there, but be more concerned about what's close to you. We know there's got to be a guy by the building to our right. Lo and behold. And the guy on the rooftop, too. Oh, my God. He didn't even hear us. Did he's going to double with that? Yo! All right, the enemy that jumped. There it is. The enemy that jumped off the roof was wild for not looking to his left. We were out in the open. We were vulnerable. It was an easy kill for him. All right, another gas mask. Great pickup. Dude, what are the odds? The first game we spectate, the the only player we spectate actually wins. This never happens. Fourteen players spectating right now. It's a one v one situation. We've got to go. We've used our last of our gas. I hope he has the munitions, or he's waiting for his restock to come back up. This is bad. Enemy's got the building. We've got to push across. We have no smoke. That's all she wrote. Damn it!